In this video, we will talk about how to set up the ATV 61 and 71 drive so that the set point for your PID control can be adjusted with your keypad dial, as you can see here. Now, this is assuming that your PID is already set up and ready to go, your minimum and your maximum references and feedbacks have already been programmed. Um, if you need assistance with that, please see the FAQ that is in response regarding uh, how, how to set up a basic PID on these 61 and 71 drives. But, um, so if you want to set your set point with your keypad's dial, you'll need to make sure that your PID feedback is, is of course programmed, but more importantly, you also have to make sure that your internal PID is set to no, because internal PID is basically where you actually tell the drive what the set point is and it's just one parameter you have to adjust every single time you want to change it and it's in a specific menu and if you want to use a keypad HMI then please do the following first of all let's go into your PID menu and to do that go from your main menu to your drive menu go to 1.7 application function go down to PID regulator Alright, so once you're in here, so right now we have the function turned off. Let's just go ahead and turn it on as, as an example here. Okay, so once you're in the PID regulator, the parameter that you want to make sure is set to no is this one ACT internal PID ref. So normally you have this turned on, and if you do want to turn it on, then you can actually set an internal PID reference as a one single value and it will stay that way unless you come back in here and change that value from something to something else as an example but let's just say you want to use a keypad dial so with the PID programmed you want to keep it set no and now with that set to no while the PID feedback is active you can now go into your 1.6 menu under drive menu and with that ACT internal parameter set to no, the drive will look at your reference one as a means of a set point now. So since you want the keypad HMI to act as your set point, you want to make sure that your reference one is set to HMI. So now that we have the, just to confirm here, we currently have PID set up in the drive. We have the PID enabled and with the feedbacks and references are programmed, your ranges are programmed. And all we have done so far is allow the keypad to act as your set point while disabling the function where you tell the drive what your set point is as a parameter. So this concludes on how you set up a 61 and 71 drive to use your keypad. As I mentioned before, please refer to your manual for more information and also please refer to the basic programming information for PID on the ATV61 and 71 drive if need be as well.